Hey everyone, welcome back to another What's For Dinner. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Nikki and I'm so glad to have you here. And we're going to go ahead and get right on in to this What's For Dinner with quick and easy meals as always. I do want to mention that for some reason I'm not seeing your all's comments until like way later. Some of them I can see right when you uh, comment. But some of them I'm not seeing until way later and I end up going back to check on the video and then I see that I have comments. So if it takes me a while to get back to your comment, that's why. And if I don't reply at all, that's probably because I've not seen it. I don't know what's going on with that, but I do reply or love every single comment. Sometimes I feel bad, but sometimes you just comment things and there's not really anything to say back. So I feel bad for just giving you a heart on your comment. But if it's... If I do that, it's just because I don't really know what to say back. I'm not a very good person when it comes to talking. I cannot carry on a conversation. I, I just ain't good at it. So if you just get a heart, don't get your feelings hurt. It's nothing personal. It's just because I didn't know what to say back to your comment. But usually I try to say something back to every comment, but there is comments that I can't come up with something to say back, and I apologize. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right on in. On Tuesday night, I'm doing some hamburgers, just keeping it quick and easy, and hamburgers is a favorite here, and they're also one of my favorites because they're easy to make, but I'm just going to salt and pepper them, and I am cooking them on the little griddle thing, but salt and pepper, and then let them cook for a few minutes, and then I will flip them and cook them on the other side. For a side to go with the hamburgers, we are just going to be doing baked potatoes because we had baked potatoes left over from the 4th of July and they need to be eight. So I'm just going to heat those up and that will be our sides. On Wednesday night, I'm doing tacos slash taco salad, and I had these two frozen hamburger patties, and I figured that that would probably be enough meat for two people, so I've just had them cooking. I had them covered up, and I have them on medium heat, and now they are finally close enough to being soft enough to mash up. Ooh, it's hard to do one-handed. Alright, that got it cut up a little bit. Now, scoot it back and cover it back up and let it cook for a little bit longer. I'm going to add in my taco seasoning. <clears throat> and this is the old Mm, El Pazio or something. I don't know. I can't remember. I shouldn't have tore the top off, but already did and threw it away. But just going to add that right on top of my meat. And I'm going to add in some water. After I get this all stirred up, I'm just going to put the lid back on it and let it simmer for a little bit. On Thursday night, we are doing some manwich, and this is probably too much meat, so when it 
it's done and I can actually tell how much we have. I'll probably keep some out and do something else with it, but I'm just going to go ahead and brown up this meat. Alright, so the meat is done and I think that's fine. I don't think it's too much meat. So I'm just going to go ahead and add in my sandwich sauce. And I just want to apologize for this week's What's for Dinner. I know it was a little, I don't know, I didn't really show much and I had very like super basic meals. But that is just because I've been having some water problems in my kitchen sink. It's been standing full of water and we cannot get it to go down for anything. So with that means I can't wash dishes. So when it came to dinner time, I just tried to do something that I could only, I would only be messing up the very minimum dirty dishes. So one pot meals was what I was doing. So that's what we did this week. But maybe next week will be better. And I'm just going to go ahead and set this camera down because it is really hard to stir this up one-handed there it is once I got it all stirred up and now I'm just going to go ahead and cook some fries in the air fryer these are the fries that I am using and I was just about to tell you all that I thought they tasted like McDonald's fries and then I just looked and it says fast food fries so they did not lie about that because I honestly think they taste like McDonald's fries. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy. But that's pretty much normal. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and throw these in the air fryer. Going to cook them for 15 minutes on 400 degrees. <laughs> 